Many are worried about the future of Afghanistan, especially those who have family living there right now. Besmala Karam is a community leader in Sacramento who spends a lot of his time helping refugees. He left Afghanistan six years ago, and his mom and brother still live there. Besmala, we are very thankful that you're joining us tonight. I wish it were under different circumstances. Thank you so much for having me in your program. I'd like to start with your family, your mom and your brother. Are they trying to escape right now? And have you heard from them? They are trying to escape, but there is no way they can make it. Though they don't have a visa, they don't have a passport. So how they can get out of the city, Kabul. So it's not only about my mom and my brother, it is the whole citizens who work in the government, with the U.S. funded project, with civil society, human rights journalists, and women activists, they are all in panic. Everybody's trying to get out of the country. You might have seen the airplane that people were sitting on the wings in the tight space. And then once that plane is taking off, people are falling down on the ground. So everybody's in panic and fearful situation. What was it like for you to watch that play out today? Because I know watching it, my heart sank for the desperation that those people must have felt that they were willing to hold on to an airplane and drop to their death rather than stay in a country uh, under Taliban rule. Having lived there, have family there, what's going through your mind when you see that image and what must be going through theirs? Uh, because these are your neighbors. Yeah, it is a really sad news and a dark day, and not only for Afghanistan, but also for the entire international community who are involved in Afghanistan for the past 20 years. It is a dark day in the history that they left the country in a chaos and people are in fearful. They have built a country for us from the scratch. They spent billions of dollars, thousands of lives were you know, they killed and they build a, an institution, a government, a school, a, everything collapsed. That 20 years achievement is gone in one night. And it's a very in dark day in the history, not only for Afghanistan, for all international community who are involved in Afghanistan for the past 20 years. Besmala, I want to play a portion of the president's remarks today. As I said earlier, the world watching uh, what he had to say, and then I want to get your thoughts. If anything, the developments of the past week reinforced that ending U.S. military involvement in Afghanistan now was the right decision. American troops cannot and should not be fighting in a war and dying in a war that Afghan forces are not willing to fight for themselves. Besmala, did Afghan forces give up? Are the Afghan forces not willing to fight right now? We have the bravest special force in the region, fully equipped, fully trained. I'm not blaming the special force or the army. I'm blaming the President Ashraf Ghani, who was very weak, corrupt, and I call him now a traitor who left the country. We escaped the country in the middle of the night with hands full of cash in his hand and he betrayed the whole nation and he must be blamed for all chaos today. The international community supported Afghanistan. They put a peace process that never ended in a way that people wanted. He took, he wasted the time and he used the opportunity you know, in two years, he didn't make a peace deal. He didn't do a peaceful transition of the power to any other groups or Taliban or whoever, but in the state. So are you not surprised? Are you surprised he that this- the power. He I'm... stayed in, he liked the power. Pardon, pardon the interruption, but yes. are you not surprised that what happened today took place? I'm, sur I'm very surprised to see what happened in the country after 20 years of achievement and in, in being with the people, all of a sudden we are left out and left behind and the country fall in hand of the Taliban, the whole country. And everybody is in panic and trying to escape. 
and they are living in fear. Basmala, my best to your mom and your brother and to all in Afghan who are in fear right now. We appreciate you sharing uh, your personal experiences there and some of your concerns. Uh, we'd like to stay in touch because, as you know, this situation is far from over. Basmala Karam, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.